Rachel blaming her weight on her thyroid oh, issues. So I went shit. through Sloppy Seconds social media and she has a long history of posting the food that she makes. So let's count her calories and see if it's actually- Oh no! No! No, that's so rude! You can't just do that! Oh no! And I have a hundred, I, look, I have what I would consider 100% faith and trust in my wife, mm -hmm. but I told her. My wife? Really, man? Oh my God, what a nerd. This is great. Keep going. Well, also, I told her these words exactly. You're going to get the fucking test, and uh, if not, I'm out the door, period. Well, <laughs> that man bragging about making his wife take a paternity test and humiliating her in front of millions of subscribers for brownie points is Andrew Wilson, the trad life Christian conservative who has so much faith in his Let's go, Andrew, my boy. My boy, Andrew, test. let's go. Also, I told her these words exactly. You're going to get the test, and uh, if not, I'm out the door. Jesus Christ, imagine putting up with that man. Oh, yeah. Well, there are, that's not what a disgusting abuse. freak. Well, they're that's also emotional abuse. Yeah, that would be considered emotional <laughs> abuse. This is totally the normal reaction you would get when talking about your 100% healthy, loving, and trusting relationship. Andrew Agreed. Wilson and his wife, Rachel Wilson, are part of the Trad Thought Coalition on the right. Rachel Wilson insulted a young Christian conservative public figure, Isabella DeLuca, for being an immodest thought who's not a real trad Christian conservative like Rachel because she baked a cake fully clothed while daring to have big boobs. Let me ask you a question. Which one of these sounds more traditional to you? Who's more trad? A, the woman staying in the kitchen and baking a cake fully clothed, a, a, or B, a. a divorced woman who it's had a. five kids from it's three a. different I say men? A. I would say the girl baking the cake sounds yes! a lot more traditional than the divorced woman with that, three different right. baby daddies attacking the other woman for baking a cake. How is it that sloppy seconds Rachel can attack other women online for not being traditional enough when she sounds like she belongs on an episode of the Maury Povich show? True. And I don't even know what that show is. Jeremiah, right Jeremiah William, you are not. <laughs> When I was researching this video, I legitimately lost track of which baby daddy had which kid. She really has the audacity Damn. to insult single mothers on the regular when she herself is one. She distances Damn. herself from that title of single mom by trying to make the distinction of mothers who are easy because 70-80% of single mothers are such by choice. I have always made a distinction between mothers who are single due to being widowed or abandoned, etc. and those who willingly break up their own families. What? Okay, if your husband's abusing you, it's not your choice, it was his. His choice was to abuse you, and he paid the price because you broke up with him. You dumped his ass. You told him to go to a motel, or she'd call the police because you were recording that one night, and he didn't know. Like, like it's, it's ridiculous. What are you talking about? That's disgusting. Disgusting freaks. You're single due to being widowed or abandoned, and what a happy coincidence it is that she should fall under choice that to abuse category. Her. her first husband, who is now her ex-husband, divorced her, and she her claims choice? that he abandoned her. He could have not abused her. I would be so her. quick to believe her, considering that she lies so often about her marriage. She claims that she was married to her husband for 16 years and then claims that she was married to him for 26 years. Uh-oh, got him. Caught in 4K. With now, Whoa. before you say, it oh, writes. it might be a typo no because 16 ratio. and 26 are kind of close oh, that's when you what type I was thinking. it. But looking back in Rachel's history on her tweets, if you do the math from 2023, where she says she's married for 16 years, and then you subtract it from when she got married with her current husband, and it turns out to only be 11 years of marriage. Meaning that she- Oh, God, in 4K, bro. Why would you lie about that? That's so stupid. She is lying about Why how lie long about she's been married to make herself look better. 11 years is still a long-ass time. That's longer than me and Katie have even known each other. I was 17. Oh, my God, I was 17. Because she hates when you call her a single mom. She's not like those other single mothers. And you know what? She's right. Most other single mothers don't have three baby daddies. And the cherry on top here is that she had a baby out of wedlock. Meaning, if you do the math here from when she says she gave birth and when their wedding date is, her husband married her because she got pregnant. And that's ah. why he made her take- That's why my dad married my mom. Right, Bob? 
right, right, Dad? Right, Dad? Right? Paternity test to see Don't tell him I if said it that. was his child <laughs> because he doesn't trust her and would not have married her without one. Which is why game. later on, Rachel demanded that paternity tests be the norm so that she is not embarrassed or ashamed that her husband did not actually have 100% trust and faith in her. I have what I would consider 100% faith and trust in my wife. And her husband, my Andrew, wife. here is in on the lie as well, of course. Wait, if you have 100% faith and trust, why are you making her take a paternity test? That's pretty f that's, that's contradictory, my friend. Claiming that she never said anything about being married for 16 years. I kind of do. I've been thinking about him lately. You know, he's been he's been occupying a, a space in my brain. Andrew, if you're watching this, man, I, I kind of do want to debate you again on something. I remember last time that I debated you, it was like a dual debate between me and you. No, no, it was me, Sprouticus, versus you and that guy who looked like Neo Cortex from uh, Crash Bandicoot. And I feel like that I was a little bit not on my right game. I feel like I, I, I could have done better. So if you're watching this, man, I would love to debate you again on something. Hit me up. He clearly did countless times, and so did Andrew. Yeah, I've been with, uh, with the same woman for um, I don't know, 18, 20 years, something like that. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into the cake gate rabbit hole today as there have cake been some gate. interesting developments. I thought since Pizza my Gate was crazy. Cake Gate's going that, nuts. I want to show you guys some candles that we made at Reed Street Soap. This cake one gate is my favorite with one. Nuts. It's called Chocolate Kiss and it has gold glitter in it. It's Whoa. really pretty and it's great for Valentine's Day. Guys, get that. Day. It smells buy it exactly now. like melting chocolate. It's Get your parents' my credit card so and order it today. It actually has rainbow sparkles in it as Ten well. Times. You can see it when I'm turning it. Can it's so it? beautiful. Honestly, it smells looks even better it than tasty. it looks. This one is great for Valentine's Day. This one I helped design because my birthday is coming up. Ooh, that one looks tasty up. too. It's it looks like cotton candy. Season. Can I eat it? And it has an amethyst, which is for February. Poke I just want a bite. One bite. Don't you love that you get a free crystal when you burn the candle? It smells like magic cherry blossoms, which is the perfect scent for this. Like think of the falling Japanese cherry blossoms in February. Delicious. That's what this smells like. This candle with the beautiful bright Ooh, blue is called Blue Crush. And it's oh, that sounds to be delicious. A Can I eat it? If I had to describe this, it smells like when a guy just gets it. out of the shower. So if you want to give a gift to your man for just Valentine's bite, Day, bite. or if you're one a guy, lick. I would recommend this one. Or okay, maybe if I'll you're a lonely girl on Valentine's Day and you want to smell like there's a man around. If you spend at least $50 on Reed Street Soap's candles, you will get a free birthday candle in honor of my Whoa. day. Make sure before you check out, you use code CUPCAKE if you want the free birthday cupcake the, the candle. 12 digit, Anyways, sorry, 16 digit code the on the back of your parents' credit card. After I released my Today. cake gate video, Rachel seemed offended by my video pointing out that she was overweight. So she made a Twitter post explaining- Who's the African cooking show lady? I have no idea who this lady is. Is. Why she was yes, I got fat. Wait, Rachel Wilson. <sighs> yes, I got fat. I didn't know why because I have always worked out. Even with all five kids, I lost the weight, but something was wrong. I finally got blood work done and got diagnosed with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Wow. Imagine that. Some biology for once. Some some medical attention, you know? From a conservative. I never would have imagined. I had extremely low thyroid and sex hormones and a ton of miserable symptoms. Got it treated and lost 45 pounds. Still going to drop a little bit more, but I am feeling healthy and strong again. I will update my profile picture eventually, but I'm not here to be looked at. I didn't think this was important. I'm a 43-year-old mom. I'm here to share my res research writing and encourage moms to stay home with their kids and homeschool. Yeah, see, I just hate the b but like, yeah, I guess, you know, like it's it's great that she's better. It's great that she's better. I don't want her to suffer. I just would like her to not be a b That's all. ...was fat and how she no longer is fat and that she's living her healthy, fit, trad wife life. So here we have this very masculine looking picture of Rachel that she posted. And it's interesting that in the post she's saying, hey, I'm not fat anymore, but the picture is not actually time stamped, meaning it could have been taken at any time. And not only that, but oh, in the photo she posted, cheap. the lighting is very dim and she's wearing black clothes. Why do I care about this? Why is she talking about this? I don't understand. Is this like, why, why does this matter? Am I crazy for this? I feel like I'm not the crazy one here, right? Like, why is she talking about this? I don't care. Thing trying to prove that she's not fat. People in mass responded to this picture of Rachel saying that she still looks fat. And also with the photo not yeah, being timestamped, the reason I also- That's not the point. The point is that she sucks. 
She sucks. She's a sucky woman. Trusted despite it it not really being being a clear photo in the first place. She sucks. Is because this isn't Rachel's first time catfishing. Rachel catfishes by using a photo of her thumbnail. Okay, catfishing is kind of bad. But like, I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like the one of the less bad things that she does. That was taken in 2020. Not only is it an outdated photo, but it also doesn't really reflect how she looks in live streams. Depending on how old. Oh no, she's doing it with an outdated photo. I don't know. Like, okay, if you uh, if you look worse than you, okay, this gets blurred, right? The line gets blurred here. I feel like at a certain point, if you are like posting a picture of yourself from like five years ago and you look completely different from what you look like now, then yeah, that's a little bit catfishy, okay? But you're still like the same person. It's not like you're lying, you know. Like I don't know. It's 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 a little bit line blurred, but be honest as as you can. Is my point. It's it's just not one of the worst things that she's done. That's all. Old you are, a lot can change in four years with how you look, but especially as you get older for someone like Rachel, who is in her 40s, four years can make a huge difference in someone's face. And in Rachel's case, I feel like it does. When I was looking through the comments, somebody pointed out that Rachel's nips are poking through the shirt, and they are. I can't show it on screen, but what yeah. is with this Trad Thought Coalition getting on other girls' cases about not being modest Trad That's Christian kind of conservatives? conservatives but then they themselves will post themselves with their nipples poking through their shirt like in the last video it was pearl and now in this video it's rachel why can't she wear a bra and if she has a problem with bras at least use some nipple covers if you're going to be on your high horse about modesty and it's not surprising someone noticed that considering the whole post is her drawing attention to her body which is hypocritical to her whole point complaining about girls grifting and getting attention and simp fishing sloppy seconds rachel dedicated is anybody else bored so bored i'm gonna give you kate's this entire post drawing attention to her body talking about how she lost weight with her nipples poking through her shirt but somehow that's not attention seeking but god forbid cake girl bakes a cake in her kitchen fully clothed with no nips poking out i think it should be pretty obvious at this point that sloppy seconds is attention seeking and she's just jealous that she can't effortlessly get the same amount of attention cake girl gets it without having to show her nipples and blaming her fatness on thyroid issues it seems like what what yo dude you can't just say that what the Okay, I'm entertained. Let's keep going. Every woke, obese person blames their obesity on thyroid issues. Yes! So it was a huge red... Wait, every woke, obese person? Wait, she knows that, like, she's a fascist, right? That woman's a fascist. Oh, I'm so... Okay, okay, you did it! You did it! Congratulations, it's the first time! Dubsy! Dubsy, give me applause. Give me an applause. Let's go. We're we're, we're in it, we're in it, we're in it. Let's go. alert when I saw Rachel blaming her weight on her thyroid oh, issues. So I went shit. through Sloppy Seconds social media and she has a long history of posting the food that she makes. So let's count her calories and see if it's actually- Oh no! No! No, that's so rude! You can't just do that! Oh no! Oh or if no! Or it's her just overeating. I'm gonna be conservative with my <laughs> estimates here. It's probably going to be more than what I say, but I would say this is about 300 calories that. of bagel times two, so we're already at 600 calories of bread. I would say that looks like it's about two eggs per bagel, and one egg is 70 calories, so that would total 280 calories. Dude, I can't see if there's cheese in this, so I won't person. count it. Holy Ma- stop, stop everything. Holy shit, you suck. Holy shit. You suck fo- so f- bad that I actually feel bad for Big Papa Fascist Wife. How do you suck that bad, man? Holy f- Jesus Lordums, man. That sucks. You are a shitty person. Who the fuck? What's, what's your name? F- your name Brittany Venti? You're a shitty person, Brittany. Holy shit. Of all the things you can insult that woman for, she's a b- Okay? But the fact that she's fat is not the part that it makes her a Maybe she just makes Holy really shit. bland, disgusting food. And I don't know if she cooked this in butter or oil, but she chose one of them. And that's usually around oh, no. 50 to 100 calories, depending. Over here, there's about 150 Holy to shit. 200 calories of potatoes on the side. So that's about 1,130 calories exactly. for breakfast. Not including- Of all the terrible things. <laughs>
Oh, this is awful. Knowing You're how much such a oil horrible or person. I hate you. Use, 1100 I calories hate is you. almost your entire day's Dude, work. honestly, how do you make Andrew Wilson's wife the good guy? Andrew Wilson's wife, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man. This is rude as shit. This is sinful how rude this is. Holy f I actually feel bad for you. That's crazy. Worth of calories. Just for breakfast. God. I know that the caption implies that this is to get the family going with a hot breakfast. But the thing is, as you scroll through her Instagram, all of the meals she posts are always for one person. This meal served by Sloppy for her husband is captioned, hangover breakfast for Papa. Meaning not only is Andrew going to eat this entire breakfast, which we will break down in a second, but also the, the night before, he drank so much that he had a hangover. Unforgivable. So if he drank Sinful. enough to have to a hell. hangover, that means for someone of his size, he would have no! to drink probably no! around six to eight. No, we're fat investigating. No, we're fat investigating. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't know if I'll survive this. Okay, Eight keep beers, going. depending on how much of an alcoholic he is. Oh, and no! one beer is 140 calories oh, on the light side. No! One egg is around... No! Don't make me feel bad for that horrible man. Please don't make me feel bad for that horrible man. Oh, God. 70 oh, calories. God. Let's say that the Wonder he Bread here this. is 100 calories. Not even he deserves Again, this. Conservative. We have one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> no. maybe six. Can't see don't, the you're there. individually counting his sausage links? you don't count a man's sausage links like that that's rude as shit but holy let's say shit five sausages <laughs> that are around 100 calories each which how by the way is processed exist? food rachel often claims that she makes how her does food this video from scratch. exist i don't know what kind of scratch this is but so you have five to six <laughs> sausages and it looks like it's around six pieces of bacon here each slice of bacon is probably around 40 calories so that's around 200 i can't believe i was gonna click away from this i'm so enthralled Holy shit, I've never seen such a shitty person before. 140 calories of bacon. And then we have these potatoes under here. Assuming that they're not processed slop like how the sausage is. Yeah, yeah. It's probably around that. 200 to 300 calories. There's okay. a lot of potato there. So this yep, hangover yep. breakfast for Puffy Papa here is around 1,200 oh, no. calories after a full night of drinking. Puffy if Papa. you were to say he drank six beers, that's around 840 calories on the conservative side. If sloppy oh. is feeding her husband like this and doesn't know how many calories oh, she out conservatives them she's on the conservative side holy shit she's feeding him imagine what she she's feeding herself. him oh my god that part was true she does feed him because they're like trad or whatever they're like trad cucks that part was true. She posts a lot of these meals that what she makes she for her husband man? with these tee -tee <laughs> captions like enhancing Normal food, his toxic it would seem, masculinity. Honestly. My husband was hungry. My husband needs sustenance. Oh my Your God. husband doesn't need sustenance. He needs to eat less. Here's another no! meal that he made for her husband. No! And it's a Denny's 3 a.m. still man. breakfast. I have to say, for someone who's supposedly been cooking for this decades and had five children, I'm sorry. she sure doesn't cook. I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm sorry, but like, this is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Never. Of all the things you could get these people on, they're freaks. They're sick freaks. How do you, how do you not, how do you not get them on something that actually matters? You get them on their diets? That's what you get. Them. This looks like a good breakfast that looks delicious. Could use a little green, I guess. Maybe some fruit, but it looks great. I'd eat it. I'd eat the shit out of that. Look, this is a great great breakfast. Great breakfast. It's a great. It's a good breakfast. Okay, what of it? Like I it. Eat it. Her food is very beginner level, and it looks super average. Beginner level. We have this burnt bacon here with some burnt, burnt potatoes. Burnt. It looks fine. What burnt? It doesn't even look black. If anything, it looks underdone. With some burnt cut up more. hot dog. I'm sorry, but this is just not what I envisioned to be. Dude, no wonder you have no taste. You skinny. F like I'm sorry. Like like. If you're gonna insult other people for being fat, look at you. Go look in the mirror. Get a f get some meat on your bones. What are you doing? Eat, eat, eat. What's wrong with you? Ultimate trad Food's great. wife meal. Eat it. She could have added some fresh herbs, some vegetables, or maybe some chives on the egg if you're going okay, for presentation fair. That's a fair points. One. Her technique looks really bad. I mean, that bacon is burnt to a crisp at the That's end. Not burnt. Even for someone who likes crispy bacon, this is too much. No, this it's is not. Overcooked. The cut up hot dogs in here just look random, like she threw it in there because, you know, her. No, it's fine. It's sausage. It's sausage. Husband needed the extra calories. Her technique isn't what? impressive and she burns a lot of her food. We have the presentation. This looks great. I eat this. Wait a minute. 
No, no, I'd eat this. I would eat this. There's nothing wrong with it. Maybe some more seasoning, maybe. But like, other than that, it looks fine. It looks great. Which is bad to you? mediocre at best. Probably good old tastes fashioned about home as good style as meals. Looks. And most of the meals that she's posted are things that beginners can make on their it's first not perfect, try. And honestly, they probably wouldn't burn the bacon this bad. Let's go over Denny's 3.30 a.m. still maybe breakfast. Find some 300 calories of burnt potatoes. 95 burnt? calories of Wonder Bread. Being cause These potatoes are not burnt. They're perfectly done. The potatoes are perfectly done. They're perfect. They look crispy. They look delicious. They look like they're soft on the inside. They look great. What are you talking about, lady? Why don't you try some good food for once in your life? Conservative is Maybe probably like 400 shit. calories of hot dog cut up. Whatever disease looking mystery meat this is. Mystery bacon is meat? around 40 what? calories each. It looks that's, like there's maybe four pork. or five strips of bacon. So that's probably around 200 calories of bacon. It's this sausage and bacon. It's pork. That's literally all it is. It's pork. That's not mystery meat. That's called pork, ma'am. Slop that she's feeding her hungry, Slop. hungry husband is over. You can't he serve this to me. I, I would, I would bow i'd be like what do you what would you like from me mommy please let me service you what are you talking about this is delicious for delicious one thousand calories just for breakfast some fruit. Just and i could get go some on forever on about but this she's that, posted delicious. a lot of food that she's made but basically you either have a bunch of high calorie dense meals that are no less than a thousand calories per serving or a bunch of the desserts okay. that she made. and and i've eaten way more than a thousand calories per meal what of it i'm allowed to do that i'm a f american i'm a red blucking red-blooded american made so I this want. meal for example might have been be supplemented by a 500 calorie piece of cheesecake i'm sorry but baking is for fat people they would sooner know so how to what? bake than they would know how to cook yeah food. guess what fat people are happy unlike you you sold as husk food properly Go back Citation. to your salad. Imagine you marry a divorced single mom thinking that you're getting a trad wife that's going to cook you good homemade meals from scratch. Maybe I won't live as long as you, but I'll live happier. I'll die happier for sure. And then Go you just get salad. a bunch of processed burnt food. And imagine you get fat over eating her processed burnt food. Oh my God. If you're going to get fat, at least make it Maybe, worth it like if, maybe they'll top your coffin with some dressing like go back to your salad if i'm gonna get fat it's gonna be over some pumpkin pie or maybe over some fried chicken i'd gain some weight for that would be worth it but not for this slop and then her kids have to eat this too i would hate to be them so was she fat over her thyroid issues or yes. is it because she yes. overeats yes you know, this is yes yes the thyroid is is crucial crucial to metabolism it is so crucial Crucial, crucial. How do you claim to know anything about health without knowing that? If you have a thyroid problem, yes, it will blow you up. It will absolutely blow up. It will destroy your energy levels. It will increase your hunger a thousandfold and it will make you fat. It will literally make you fat. It will. It does that on its own. Okay. You have no control over it. So if you go to the doctor and you say, and they say, say to you, I, you have a thyroid issue. You have a uh, hypothyroidism. Okay, it's not your fault. It's literally not your fault if you're fat. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Not. It's not. It's not. And if you think that it is, you are. It, you just don't believe in science. You don't believe in science at all. You, you just spit in the face. Patui. No science for me. No science for me. I don't. I don't believe in it. Right. Right. Yeah. Thyroid issues don't exist. You. That's why Rachel didn't want to call into my stream because I would have gone over this food and counted the calories with her. And I know that people are going to say, oh, well, she's a mom. She had five kids and she's in her 40s. You yeah. so can't expect her to not be fat. You know how hard it is to raise five kids? My mom raised six. That shit suck sucks. It's hard. Okay. Even if they did do a, sh a shitty job of it, they probably sucked at raising their kids i hate those people but guess what this shit's still hard they're alive so clearly she did something right fuck you first off you ever raise kids try it excuses wrong then second off i'm gonna prove me. my point then i don't want to hear the excuses when jordan peterson's daughter was this skinny after two weeks of having a baby but rachel can't pull this off you. even Who after cares? years because she's gluttonous Sophie seconds rachel puts down other women for not living as healthy Ew. and fit Ew. of a stay-at-home mom trying wife life as she is meanwhile she's not what a using creature as an excuse to get attention to her body but to also excuse her gluttony and slothing around oh, those are two of the seven oh, deadly sins that christian wretched you wretched against. beast you know, this wasn't an oopsie mistake you this is wretched a animal how dare you how 
dare you? Ew! Be gone! I cast you out! Ew! Lifestyle that they are. I living. hate her. I get that Christianity has forgiveness, her but vibes come on, are practice fucked. what you preach here. Absolutely. Sloppy fucked. Rachel had children out of wedlock and also has several. Whatever attractiveness you have on the outside, ma'am, is completely ruined by the inside. Zero out of ten. Zero. This is you are looking at a zero out of ten. You do not date this. Never. Never date this. Disgusting. Disgusting. Ew. Baby daddies. That's not very traditional and Christian. But they're out here judging others and purity spiraling. Rachel insulted Cake Girl for being a slut. So did Andrew. Sloppy Rachel also insulted me. Yeah, and that sucks, but slut, I hate you too. Hey guys, remember when I said that I'm the only good content creator left? It stands. I'm and the her only husband good one left. did the same thing on his stream. He called me a moron and started insulting me before he had even watched my video. And he was stressing this stream talking about me. That was like his 12th cigarette. Imagine the stench of that room and how badly he stinks. You would think for a guy- Yeah, you know how hard it is to stop smoking? How about you go f off? That smokes so much, he wouldn't eat so much. I've never even smoked and I know that. Stopping smoking is one of the hardest- things you can do in life right that shit sucks why don't you try it why don't you get addicted to smoking and then see if you can quit go ahead give it a shot give it a shot no really no i'm serious if you think it's easy to stop smoking then go ahead and try it try smoking for a while go ahead it should be easy right start try smoking for a while and then try to quit go ahead like there's nothing i like more than being in this arena entangling especially with morons whom I can I can't believe I'm defending this man. But you know what? He has the right to smoke. And it's hard to stop smoking. That's fine. That's fine. I support his right to smoke. Brittany Venti to be I support him a on stellar that. example of a moron. There's actually a Bible verse about this. 1 Peter 3 9. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing because to this you were called she just so that you may captain. inherit True. a blessing. I'm not calling myself evil here. If only they made this lady cheer captain, then she wouldn't have turned out like this, right? But it literally Holy says shit, in their book that they're Good supposed job. to abide by <laughs> to not repay insult with insult. Do these people seem like good Christians to you? Addict Andrew, who can't get enough of alcohol and cigarettes and food, Jesus is Christ, out here man. claiming he's the good Christian. But meanwhile, Puffy here on his 12th cigarette is busy plastering OnlyFans. God, I, I hate her so much. I hate her. I can't do this, man. I can't believe I hate her more than I hate Big Papa Fascist. That's insane to me. This girl's breasts it's on the his demeanor. thumbnails. It's the demeanor. These OnlyFans girls- You know what? Big Papa Fascist does many things. He sucks and I hate his guts, but you know what? He's fun. He's fun. He is fun. I will give him that. He laughs, okay? He has some jubilance. He has some light in his life. You know what this lady has? Salad. Just salad. Dressingless, dry salad. Go eat your salad, ma'am. Go eat it. Mmm, delicious, right? Gobble it up. Go eat your salad. The rest of us are having fun. Those biggest Golf. promotions come from these Manosphere podcasts like Fresh and Fit. What happens is they it's are, big they Papa hate fashion themselves can have because fun they're insulting like you. Their, their audience. And they see you and they're attracted to you and then they can't help it because they want to see more and they're actually secret sims, but they hate themselves for being sims. <laughs> Don't proxy they where the salad. Only Listen, if you like salad, it's fine. I like salad too. It's fine. I'm just making a joke, guys. It's just a get. It's just fans and hate themselves for it. So then they go back on Fresh and Fit and watch women get bullied to kind of make Promise. themselves feel better. At least with that audience, that's what I noticed. That's how that works. These OnlyFans girls, their biggest promotion comes from these Manosphere podcasts like Fresh and Fit, and Andrew is copying their formula. What? When you got kicked off of Fresh and Fit the first time, how much money did you make, girl, afterwards? Like Fresh and Fit, there's no one that does more for OnlyFans women than Fresh and Fit. I, the, Myron, one what? of the hosts, wrote a book, Why Women Deserve Less. You are the number one, like, m like we are, <clears throat> you have helped sex workers more than anybody, I think, this? in the world. <laughs> you have given us the world. Every time I come on your show, my money goes way nice. up. Um, and then he kicked me off and then he invited me back on. Nice. So Get that money, girl. He is girl. copying Get the that formula money. of some of the Let's biggest go. supportors of OnlyFans girls. How traditional and Christian of him. So anyway, I want to tell you guys more. Okay, she got him there. Honestly, she got him there. Let me rewatch that real quick, make sure I got it right. He is copying the formula of some of the biggest supporters of OnlyFans girls. How traditional and Christian of him. So anyway, I want to tell you guys more about what happened. My, my, my brain is soup. Have I mentioned that? Happened after I released my video on Cake Gate. So in response to Rachel responding to my video, essentially me Love pointing Kate. out that she's overweight and she posted that photo of her that wasn't time stamped. I told her to call into my stream since she had such pleasant words to say about me on Twitter. So she yeah, said- Yeah, rightfully so. You're a
No, unless there's a moderator. So she won't call in Everybody to my hates stream you. to say what she You're has no to say fun. to me directly. And not Find only that, but she life. and her addict husband kept creating new threads on Twitter to make it look like I wasn't replying when she responded to me about wanting to call in, but only with a moderator. She also tried to make me look bad by lying and saying I blocked her, and then she backtracked when I called her out. A moderator is completely unnecessary, and the reason she wants one is to shield her because she's scared of what I would say to her. For example, if I went over these about? meals- What are you gonna do, call her fat again? Oh yeah, go ahead and call her fat 10 times. Oh, I'm sure she's so scared of that. Okay, fine, I'm a little fat right now. Go ahead, call me pudgy. Go ahead. No, 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 call me pudgy. Go ahead, no, go ahead. Pudgy. I'm a little pudgy right now, it's fine. Here, you wanna see? Here, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, okay? I'm a little pudgy right now. What of it? What of it? Who cares? Who gives a shit? Guess what? I'm still happy. I still enjoy my life. How about you? Go back to your salad. How about your salad how many calories they are with her on the, the rest of us are enjoying life what is she gonna say it would be pretty embarrassing also with the moderator yeah, thing i tried to See? get one to get rachel it. to at least come on and talk to me and it fell through because chrissy was gonna moderate but then she wanted to host it but i wanted to host it because i'm the one who made the cake gate video and put days of research and work and editing into it and Chris days of research and work and editing into what to what cake gate how fat she is. Such a useless endeavor. Such a useless f endeavor. You know what I put days in research into? Exposing a sex pest. You know what I put days in research into? Going to f You're not even, honestly, I did this on the spot. Going to f own Matt Walsh, okay? It took seconds for me to come up with that question. Seconds. How about you? What have you done? Except to insult her for her f weight when she has a million other things you can insult her for. Legitimately disgusting. He said she felt that it wouldn't be fair Patui. unless it was hosted on a third Patui, party. I say. But I disagree. Sloppy Rachel slash her husband have people on and they have a moderator quotation, but he doesn't actually do anything. He just sits there silent the whole time. So I don't see why I need a moderator when they essentially don't even use one when they talk to people. I also don't agree it needs to be on a third party platform. Honestly, I'll say many things against Big Papa Fascist. He's a good moderator. I'll give him that or that we need a moderator considering that other streamers have people He's call in like destiny or turkey tom they let people call in and argue with them so i think the real reason that sloppy rachel wanted a moderator was to try to shut me down and prevent me from saying what she didn't want me to say sloppy rachel also said that she was worried that i would mute her which she has no evidence to go off of that i mute any okay airhead once again i'm going to beg you to pay attention and stay on track here is there an issue or idea you want to debate or you just want to throw a temper tantrum about how I'm a big mini head. <laughs> True queen. One requires a new platform with a debater and the other does not. Feel free to come on air and any and air. Keep, feel free to come on and air any grievance about my video or my claims. Why would I come on your stream just so that you can mute me and yell at me through a tantrum? No, she's right. No, she's right. No, she's right. Because this lady's making videos about her. She's making videos about her. And then she's like, oh, you want to come bitch at me? You want to come bitch at me? Dude, you're already bitching about her. So yeah. Maybe she does want to come and bitch at you. Rightfully so. Excuse you. About my claims. What claims? So she's fat? Okay, great. What about it? What the f about it? So what? And really it just seems Nobody like gives projection. A shit. But her saying Everybody's that I would mute her is Who just cares? some made up excuse that she can't call into my stream. She could also record or dual stream when she calls I mean, in I if wish she really felt healthier, like I would be as bad alas, that's the society as her we live husband. In. So after the debate falls through because we can't decide who should host the stream, I say, screw this. And I told Sloppy that my original invitation still stands call into my stream call in since you can test me saying that you're overweight come on camera and tell me what you have to say to my face so then scared sloppy who gives hides a behind shit? her husband okay who she says she's not overweight maybe she is who cares who cares who cares who cares who cares who cares comes on to our simpcast episode live where the topic of cake gate came up and he is having Nobody a cares. good old drunken melty in the chat in front of everyone live because he knows that sloppy will be there to make him his 1500 calorie breakfast after his hangover <sighs> get your rose lattes ready because i'm about oh after his hangover oh geez oh no god forbid the man have fun in his life unlike you go back to your salad to spill the tea in middle of the simcast episode being live streamed addict andrew goes into the live stream chat and demands that he be invited on to this simcast episode so he can dispel this fiction being spoken about sloppy. 
who, by the way, prior to this happening, was invited to join Simcast the next week, despite him saying how boring and unbearable it is to speak to women. He was absolutely begging to come on to an all-female podcast. Most lady. women, they never... I don't know how much longer I can do this. I hate her so much. Like, it, there's a visceral, like, gut hatred of this lady. The vibes are all... F they're f The vibes are f Okay, I, I, I very few times have I seen vibes this. I, I do not like it. I do not like it. Ever have interest vibes. anything interesting to say, and so I don't actually care about what they say, and so I feel like they're just talking, and I'm just kind of nodding my head. I just kind of want the exchange to be over, so I can get on in life and do other things that I consider more meaningful, like watching paint dry on the wall. I'm not particularly good company for women. Because sometimes they'll be talking to me and I'll literally just get up and walk out of the room. Oh my God, dude. You can't just say that. Come on. Oh, come on. Everybody sucks here. I hate everybody. Come on. I really wanted to like him for once. I really did. I When I watch videos like this, I try to find a good guy. And there's just no good guy here. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I, I don't like it. Because I just don't care what they're saying. I don't give a shit what they're saying. <laughs> I don't care what they're Come saying. On, man. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just you like, okay, just what? Do that. And they're sometimes they'll be talking to me. I don't even know what they're talking about. I'm just like, what the fuck are you even talking? Just get up and leave. For women, I don't you can't just dislike say that. women. They're not very enjoyable to be around. Oh my they god! Just kind of talk at you. Please, Chrissy, let me on. Let me, Adam. Let me talk to the women. Oh. They can't talk about my sloppy wife like that. Where? So he goes on to insult Simcast, the guest. I need, okay, horrific debate panel. No, this is the uh, dr the nightmare debate panel. Big Papa Fascist with his wife, this lady, and me, okay? And Destiny. We'll throw Destiny in there, just a wild card, okay? That's the that's the, the, the nightmare debate panel, okay? That'd go crazy. Are you kidding me? That would go wild. Also insults Chrissy, that. who was not hosting that night because she had just gotten done throwing up all day from being pregnant. So Anna was hosting the stream. Imagine you're throwing up all day and then some guy DMs you this. F off, Mayor. You could have easily allowed us to defend ourselves while our accusers were there. Could have. He makes it sound like it was SA or something. He's so mad. Not my first time in so the you mad. talk shit, now you He's turn so to mad. talk shit rodeo. So I got no problems with Frank. He's fine. Isn't that interesting how he has no problems with the guy? You know, the guy that, that can actually square up with him instead Remember, of the pregnant woman sucks. who just got done throwing up all day? I was talking smack and chat to him, but I get he's just trying to run a show. Oh yeah, give him the pass, but always blame women. Sounds true, a lot like true. the Manosphere. It's he backpedaled that real quick with a man though. So Frank's just trying to run a show. But you brats, yeah, not interested. If this is how it is, this is how it is. <laughs> I, I still can't believe that she brought up those people's breakfast. Like of all the things to get mad at them for, man, why did you bring up their breakfast? Their breakfast? You went after their breakfast. You went after the man's breakfast? Come on. That's, that's a low blow. That's a low blow. Come on. You're better than that. Feels too good for you all. Literally. Genius academic, and you let dumb skanks rail her with lies and wouldn't allow a word of pushback. True, How did King. you think it would go with us being pals? Chrissy, we are literally not friends anymore. You let those dumb skanks talk shit about my sloppy wife? Yeah, if some, so, some talk shit about Katie, I'd be like, yeah, f you. I'd be like, yeah, shove it up your ass. You, how dare you talk about my wife about that like like that? No, I think the fuck not. Get out. I cast you out into the cold. How about that? Okay, no jacket for you. I keep that now. You're in the cold. Okay, go freeze. Go freeze. Okay, in Minecraft. Go freeze. I'll to have death you in know she is literally yeah, you like a it. genius academic. Whenever I see like e boys that are like big internet male figures, they get so feminine i've never seen men partaking so much drama in my life drama? Than men on the internet. you know these e-boys and their little gossip sessions so as a result of this because tree of logic was on this stream she issues the same challenge that i issued to rachel who was running away avoiding it using her husband as a shield and she told addict andrew to call into her stream and defend sloppy isn't it dude you can call him so many other things he's a fascist he's a fascist man the man's a fascist Call him a fascist. Why would you call him an addict? That's the least egregious thing about him. He's a fuss. He's a fascist. Come on. This is basic. How he will 1v1, but suddenly Rachel can't do the same thing and call in. Lady, you suck.
What's your name again? Brittany Venti? Brittany Venti, you suck ass, man. You suck. I, I hate you. You're the worst. You are the worst, okay? I don't like you at all. Your vibes are f***ed. Go work on yourself. I sent it you to 10 years of going work, work, work on yourself. You begin now. Go work on yourself. Into my stream and needs a moderator. That's interesting because her husband doesn't. Shortly after joining Tree's stream, he proceeds to mute her. After all that fuss sloppy made about how I was going to mute her, meanwhile, her husband does exactly that. So he mutes Tree and the only Fuentes? thing you can see on is. the screen is a slideshow. Yeah, the, the worst person you know is buddies with Fuentes. Oh, wow, wow. Who would have guessed? of tree doing her dominatrix work that she's dog i used to be part of fat people hate do you guys know what fat people hate is it's a subreddit that was burned to shit because it was disgusting okay it deserved to be burned but i was part of it you know why because i was a piece of shit i was a piece of shit okay so there's hope for these people the only reason i bring this up is to tell you guys there's hope for these people all right there's hope for these pieces of shit i know they seem hopeless all right and you have every right to believe that they are because they're pathetic and disgusting and annoying and they need to fuck off all right nobody likes them you're right you're right you're absolutely correct okay one thousand percent you have every every right to believe that they cannot be rehabilitated but i promise you that they can promise you they can because i was okay i'm just saying so let's hope here's hoping is retired from she's very open about how she did dominatrix work and she talks about it like every other stream so i don't understand what he thought he was exposing. Clearly he doesn't watch her content. So he's showing adult content that will either get Tree a strike for live care. streaming it, or it will get her live stream demonetized. And Andrew knows that, which is why he was streaming on Rumble. He did not stream this on YouTube. So yeah, essentially Andrew tries to mess with Tree's money by getting her live stream either a strike or possibly getting it demonetized because he, like his wife that's hiding behind him, are too cowardly to actually hear what she has to say he was scared what she's gonna say so he's muting her blocking the audience from seeing tree talking about how his wife pimped out her daughter to groipers and all groipers meaning nick fuentes's audience didn't you say she was a nick fuentes uh person <clears throat> how old is this two weeks ago i thought you said she was friends with nick fuentes pimped out her daughters to groipers they're seeing is a slideshow of her doing dom work which resulted in said groiper not i mean is that true did she do that because that's pretty she did only increasing her body count to one but also blackmailing her family with her nudes for them to not speak out against nick fuentes <coughs> leading up to a debate i had scheduled with uh ethan ralph oh no with I'm big tech i got a call from my daughter's ex-boyfriend and it, he basically threatened me right he said that he was going to do horrible things to me and my family he's going to oh, wow, do horrible that's... things to her he said he said if that's true that's Man, I'm sorry that happened to you. Because Fuentes is my king, and you're going after my king. And I'm going to do horrible things to you, right, essentially. If you show up to that debate, I'm going to do horrible things to you, horrible things to your daughter. But he's like... I 1,000% believe this, by the way. Like, nobody likes Nick Fuentes, including Big Papa Fascist. And make no mistake, Nick Fuentes is worse, okay? So I do feel a, a concern for him in this situation, very. If you show up to this debate, if you show up, I'm going to ruin her entire life. And this is completely sloppy mommy's fault. She's over here what? bragging that her daughter's a virgin. And now she's wait, <clears throat> if that was true, that's no, no, no. If that was true, that's for big Papa fascist. I don't like the guy, but he doesn't deserve that. He doesn't deserve that. That was what here. Let's watch it again. Leading up to a debate I had scheduled with uh, Ethan Ralph with big tech. I got a call from my daughter's ex-boyfriend and it, he basically got threatened a me. call from his daughter's right. ex-boyfriend. He said that he was going to do horrible things to me and my family it's gonna do so his daughter's ex-boyfriend called him and said that he and, and basically threatened him like that's serious that's really f real well thanks Terry. he said he said it's because fuentes is my king and you're going after my king because he doesn't like fuentes that's that's f scary man that's scary as shit yeah i feel bad for him in this situation yeah yeah i do yeah he doesn't deserve that no f no and i'm gonna do horrible things to you right essentially if you show up to that debate i'm gonna do horrible things to you horrible things to your daughter but he's like if you show up to this debate if you show up I'm gonna ruin her entire life. And this is complete- That's disgusting. Completely sloppy mommy's fault. She's over here- uh, No, 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 fuck you, fuck you. Disgusting, I don't think so. You know whose fault that is? Nick Fuentes and his groiper uh, uh, posse, okay? Disgusting freaks, all of them. Fuck you, how dare you? Bragging that her daughter's a how virgin, dare you? and now she's not because of her- If you can make me defend Big Papa Fascist and his wife, you are a horrible person. Fuck you, man.
Holy shit, you are terrible. And she's you probably suck. very traumatized you from this, from ass. her mother getting her into this you situation. But Andrew's audience you wouldn't know that because breakfast. not only did he mute Tree and block Jesus the screen she was showing Lord's and explaining man. what had happened, Go eat but your also salad. he deleted his life. Go eat your salad. Luckily, Nobody cares anymore. Shut the this fuck up. This is where I live. <laughs> this is why I was scoring the internet for suitors for my then daughter. Can you parents. believe this pimping out her daughter? She wants her daughter to be a single baby mama like she was. So on Andrew's stream here, this is his audience's perspective. All they see is Tree's former domination picks with Tree muted with this music playing. So because this is Addict Andrew's audience's POV, they cannot see what Tree is talking about, they cannot see her screen, and he muted her so that they cannot hear what she's saying. Versus on Tree's stream, this is her audience's perspective, and they're able to see and hear everything for the entire duration of the stream. I have a nose ring. I know it's frowned upon. I'm not a nun. I'm a real person. But she's 98% dream of wife for a groiper. If that's not enough... If that's not good enough, feel free to scroll on. Stream. Here we have her pimping out one of her daughters. She's a dream wife for a groiper. Was she pimping out her daughter? That's pretty f That's true. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know who's the good guy. They all suck. Everybody here sucks. I'm the only good content creator left. Have I mentioned that? Give me all of your money if you can afford it because I'm the only good one left. I'm the only good one left. The only one. Give me your money if you can afford it. If you can't, that's fine. Just subscribe. Otherwise, give me your money. I'm the only good one left. Hello? Are you not gonna say nothing? Yeah, Tree, are, are, okay, okay, are you- Okay, okay, so- Okay, anyway- So you're still not like, gonna- <laughs> you're still not gonna- Dream of a wife or a boyfriend She's still spurgy. It's not still... <laughs> a good enough deal for the scroll on. And so she says, uh, so they're asking, hey, I want to know more about your daughter. I'm, I'm interested in basically, you know, getting her to be one of my slaves. So then he, she says, uh, she's still- of a wife who had three kids- <laughs> still freaking actually, the fuck out. Kids. I don't know what she she's talking about. She had three or four kids, unfortunately, one of them- still out. She had four kids by three other men. And, no, two men. Is this You're supposed to make one. sense? That basically took her on and Put with her, her crazy. baggage and her other kids. She's Won't still deny that. Just, and just then here she goes. Out. No baggage, but. Oh, she was trying to take the daughter hostage verbally. That makes sense. But she's cartwheeling everywhere. I'm her mom. So obviously I will be offended Here's by your Dr. language. And then she has Dr. another one. Akilah I don't L. know. Celestial she likes a bunch. So this center. one is asking. I think they're asking Check about it. anime. She's still freaking so it says, out. I don't way. know. She's <laughs> pimping them out. Like, <laughs> yeah, yo, you're going to love this. She it. ain't even touched by nobody. So come on here and get Listen. some of this. You know what I'm saying? She's still So anyway, we're going to go to the next one where we're showing how you're basically a whore. It's horrible. Wilson's daughter got set up to date a Groiper. Groiper got her pregnant. They broke up, and Groiper is trying to blackmail Andrew. That's f it. Andrew doesn't deserve that. It is his daughter. I don't deserve that, okay? I don't like Andrew. I f hate the guy, but he doesn't deserve that. That sucks. Out her daughter. Isn't that something? Still freaking out. Oh. Right after. They're saying he pimped her out. F them then. That's not how that works. He fell in love with a Groiper, you know? Maybe he could have done better by not letting her be in vicinity of Groipers. Okay, so, you know, he could have done better in that regard, at least. But, you know, he doesn't deserve this, I don't think. You know, this this is not, this does not warrant, it's not warrant uh, taking his daughter hostage. Dr. Tree gets done explaining how Rachel pimping out her daughter resulted in her getting engaged to a guy who eventually blackmailed her family over what's implied to be her nudes. He then rage quits the stream. It's disgusting. Pimped him out in April. I told you, everybody they sucks. They hooked everybody up in sucks. May. And the then all of a left. sudden, the they one. got engaged Boss in sucks. October? Hassan sucks. In October? Even Tina too sucks. Oh, Don't tell her I said left. that. He left! He left! He left! <laughs> he left! So essentially, his little tactic didn't work, and he lost. He lost at the blood sports. So these people are most definitely not good Christians and are literally the definition of the word grifter. Speaking of grifters, well, yeah. after this whole ordeal, Trad thought Isabella comes into the fight. So OF Isabella is out here tweeting pictures of Tree's retired domination photos where she's very open about it. And she fails to see the irony of her doing that considering that she has those inappropriate photos of herself where she's in lingerie showing her behind and kissing another woman so my point of what? mentioning this so is the contrast here so that's hot as shit what's wrong with that hold on 
Did I miss something? Maybe I missed something. After this whole ordeal, Trad thought Isabella comes into the fight. So OF Isabella is out here tweeting pictures of Tree's retired domination photos where she's very open about it. And she fails to see the irony of her doing that considering that she has those inappropriate photos of herself where she's in lingerie showing her behind and kissing another woman. I mean, I guess, but like, I don't know, there's no good guys here. There's no good guys. That's the bottom line. So my point of mentioning this is the contrast here. So we have Tree who's open about her past of doing dom work and she's okay with it. And she also is bisexual. But then we have Tratha Isabella who is not honest about her past and only spoke on it after she was called out on it. She would have just continued lying by omission. This photo that Tree showed was only from about a year and a half ago. So how are you sucking your friend's boobs a year and a half ago in middle of the karaoke bar but then you're gonna insult cake girl for not being I, i'm barely following what's happening anymore being modest and trad enough for baking a cake in her kitchen so how is that isabella could have photos you're the worst political youtuber and i love watching her content yes i'll take it let's go that are more sexual than a dominatrix from as recently as like a year and a half ago but then she's tweeting tree's dom photos like she's exposing something the difference is tree is open and honest about it trad thought isabella was not tree is also not held to the ethics code or the moral code of her religion unlike trad thought Isabella, who is held to the moral it's code gone. of it's being a Christian gone. and also throws stones at other people for, quote, not being it's traditional and Christian enough. The reason that I'm pointing it out and why Tree is pointing it out is the dishonesty about living a Christian lifestyle. It's one thing to have a past and genuinely change as a person, but this is not one of those situations. Seriously, the photos are on par with OF content as recently as a year and a half ago, but now you're a traditional Christian who gets to toss your stones at other women for baking in the kitchen for literally staying in the kitchen they're taking you tossed your stones at other women for baking literally for baking in the kitchen <laughs> like literally for cooking a breakfast yeah you toss stones at other women what are you talking about you have no room to talk in christianity and using <laughs> it suck. as a shield for their bad actions you and suck lifestyle that conflicts with christianity <laughs> that they're still living these are going to be the people that others point to when they're like see that's serious? why i don't want to be part of that if i were a christian and living a trad wife life i would be really pissed seeing these people making a perversion of it they're just making a complete mockery of christianity and just i would really be pissing these people making a perversion of it part of that. If I were a Christian and living a trad wife life, I would be really pissed seeing these people making a perversion of it. Huh? Did it. Okay, am I missing something? Okay. They're just making a complete mockery of Christianity and just cherry picking what they want to follow and then throw stones at others who do the same things that they did. These people are so cliquish and purity spiral so much, but they're okay, the not like you. Not like you. You, you. You're not cliquish and purity spiral. No, certainly. Not like you're judging a man's breakfast. Right. Ones who should actually be kicked out of the Christianity club for not living the actual lifestyle. Thank you for- I like you who, you know, go back to your salad is what I'm trying to say. God damn. I fucking hate you, lady. You're the worst. You're the fucking worst. Ugh. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I do not like that. Dubious food. Dubious food. Cast you out. Cast you out. Okay. I can't, but I can't believe that somebody made me like Big Papa Fascist and his wife over her. That's insane. It's insane. That's that's impossible to do. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. How dare you? <sighs> There's some rotten people in this world, man. I swear to God. Slash Alec Gunther TTV slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate it if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.